<laughs> hey YouTube, so today I am actually doing fan art for The Legend of Zelda. I'm doing a picture of the true form of Minna. This was actually for a Secret Santa project. I joined for the Nintendo Girls Club, or Fangirls, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it's a club about the females of Nintendo. It's on DeviantArt. Um, but yeah, the person I got wanted Mina, so I drew Mina. And um, as you can see in the video, you can see the picture I'm using as pose reference for her. Um, I tried to exaggerate it a little bit. Um, <laughs> hopefully that came out all right. But, uh, um, I've actually been a fan of Zelda for many years. Um, I grew up watching my dad play the original Zelda game on my, on our NES. And I didn't get my first, my, like, my own, like, I didn't actually ever play the original Zelda game on my own as a kid, but my first Zelda game that I got was, um, in sixth grade um and it was the phantom hourglass uh, a lot of people don't particularly like that game much but it's one of my favorites of course i have a bit of a bias <laughs> um after that i got spirit tracks which of course i like a lot i've ever played those at least two times all the way through um which i'm kind of bad at replaying games so me actually replaying a game all the way through and enjoying it is kind of an oddity, <laughs> especially nowadays. Um, it's really something I actually need to get back into, is getting back into playing video games. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot of years with The Legend of Zelda. I, of course, as I said, I've been into it since 6th grade. And I'm now a junior in college. <laughs> so it's quite a lot of years into my belt. Um, I really enjoy reading the manga. I have pretty much every Zelda game that's come out since. I have, I don't have many of the original ones just because I didn't have many of the original systems. We went from NES to Wii, so we didn't get any of the systems in between, but I do remember playing the original Smash Bros at my cousin's house all the time, so my sister's favorite character was of course Link, so I had some exposure to him there too, um, and since then I've also gotten into the manga by Akira Hanukawa, um, they're very cute. <laughs> I enjoy them a bit. Um, I think one of my favorite games is definitely Ocarina of Time. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. I know a lot of people praise this game so much, and I was kind of expecting to be let down, but I really wasn't. Um, it was really a, an amazing game to play, and it was a lot of fun. Um, a game, I, a couple of the games I have to finish, I started but haven't finished, is Majora's Mask, um, Wind Waker, I think that's it for Zelda games, but a lot of the times I do get <laughs> very stuck in Zelda games and then it takes a while for me to actually go back and get unstuck, like, for example, in Twilight Princess, I got stuck on that stupid escort mission. I tried it so many times, and every time I'd play, I'd get so frustrated. <laughs> that was my absolute least favorite part of that entire game, was that stupid escort mission. But, um, getting to the actual end of it was rewarding, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I think I just said that Ocarina of Time was one of my favorites. Um, 
Another one of my favorites is, of course, Breath of the Wild. I love that game so much. Um, it was a lot of fun to play through, and I actually finished it in the week I was home for spring break last last year. Um, it, like literally, that was all I did was play that game. I was able to finish it. <laughs> Um, sometimes if I can put my mind to it, I can do that with games. Recently, nah, not so much. But yeah, I really would love to get back to that game and play more. I really enjoy it so much. It's got what I like doing in games, which is just... <laughs> I, I honestly... weird thing I really like about games is fishing. It's really weird, but I really enjoy it. So like the little fishing mini game in Twilight Princess was so one part of that game that I absolutely adored for no reason at all. I just I just loved it, and I'd do it for no reason when I had nothing else better to do. I'd go and fish. I mean there isn't exactly fishing in Breath of the Wild, but there is hunting, which I do enjoy doing in that game too. I think my favorite place to go hunting is Hebrew Mountains. Um, I also really liked going into Ganon's castle way before I was supposed to, <laughs> and often getting absolutely annihilated. <laughs> but yeah, I I had a lot of fun with that game. I haven't played my own file in a while, but I've played other people's files and just messed around and gotten killed quite a bit. <laughs> but yeah, um... A couple of games that I never actually got was Triforce Heroes. I never really got into it, so I never got it. <laughs> um, I also still need to finish um, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. A couple of years ago, the SD card on in my 3DS corrupted, so I kind of lost all my progress in that. I haven't gotten back to it. I also have Link's Awakening, which I haven't finished. <laughs> um, actually, a part of, I, I don't want to say devotion to the series, but something I unknowingly did was my last guinea pig. Her name was Maya, M-A-Y-A, -A, but I'd always call her Maya Maya, like the little Maya Mayas in Link Between Worlds, but yeah, I guess I'll stop blabbing. As you can see, um, I colored this picture in alcohol markers, and then I added all the special little details in sparkle glitter pens. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!